Hi there. In this video we'll be installing Windows 11 on an HP ZBook Firefly 14 G8. That's a long name. Uh, so anyway, we have Windows 11 on this thumb drive. You simply plug it in. I will link a video in the description where I show how to create one of these thumb drives with a media creation tool. Power on your uh, laptop. And in theory, if your SSD is empty, probably it will boot directly from this little guy. Eh, it comes into hardware diagnostics uh, uh, initially, it seems, this one. With the, the arrow keys you go to exit, hit enter. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. And now I'm 99% sure it's booting from this thingy. Because uh, before the SSD that we installed was empty and we were getting a boot error. And if you want to know how you can boot from another device, even if you have uh, Windows already installed on your SSD, I will link a video in the description that will uh, show you that. And... <laughs> We are in Windows 11 setup now. I will not uh, insist too much uh, on the setup itself because you are going to be doing your own settings, but this is not working. Yeah, I had this happen sometimes on some laptops. You can either try to reboot this or, yeah, let's try and reboot it. And I will also show you the boot uh, menu key that uh, I was uh, pointing you towards that video in case you don't want to watch that. So long press this to shut it off. And it's fully off now. Let's try this again. So quickly press power and then start smashing F9. So we are smashing F9 key and it should give us the boot menu. Entering boot menu and we have uh, the SSD that we just installed, but that is the first one, generic <laughs> USB, that's what we want to boot from. You can move with arrow keys and just hit enter. Let's see, do I have this in here? Yeah, I have it. So it is functional. Let's, let's use that, why not? You just uh, tap on it wherever you want. Boing. And now it's booting from uh, USB. But uh, hopefully it will also get uh, detected by the Windows 11 setup. If not, I need an external mouse. Let's just avoid it with an old mouse that uh, I need to, to plug via a USB Type-C adapter to USB because here, this is so wide that they just didn't have enough room one next to the other. But anyway, we are now uh, in working order. So I have a mouse and obviously my daughter just passing through. You do your settings based uh, on what uh, country you are from. This thing still not working. So next. Keyboard, nope, we need US input, US, because we have a US keyboard, and next, install Windows 11, everything will be deleted, yeah, it's already empty, the SSD, can you actually see properly what I'm showing you here, hopefully, uh, yep, I don't remember seeing that uh, that pop-up, so I think this is a, 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 a bit of a different setup. Uh, they changed it uh, from older uh, Windows 11 installed uh, me medias. Yeah, except I, I read it. Of course I did. Searching for disks, it should uh, see the SSD. And here it is. This is the thumb drive that we are booting from, so we are not touching that one. And I'm going to create a single partition. Actually, hmm, should I create two of them? 
Yeah, maybe it's a good idea to split this uh, in two. Just in case, because why wouldn't I? So, be back in a second. And that's exactly half of the space of the SSD. And apply. Uh, what did I do? Ah, it took a bit to create it. Uh, and it will actually be smaller because it uh, took a bit uh, of space to create uh, these two partitions and we ha still have un un unallocated so this will be D drive it takes the maximum that it can from the start and it will also create a D drive okay and that one is done also so this is C this is D in my opinion I have no idea why it left uh, a few kilobytes unallocated that's actually let me see if can I delete this one and create it again and uh, try to set more space no because normally it's taking all of the space by itself no it's yeah no clue first time I see that but anyway it is what it is it uh, doesn't matter that much and on partition number 3 we will actually install Windows so it's selected and next install Windows 11 Pro keep nothing the key for Windows 11 Pro is in the BIOS on modern laptops so it should activate by itself and it's installing Windows and I'll get back to you when it kind of finishes this particular step and that depends on how fast your uh, USB drive is and this is a really old USB 2 drive so it's going to go quite a bit slower than it actually can do it and a bit of progress still not working <laughs> that's freaking weird anyway next didn't you already ask me this Ay, 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 ay. United States International. I think this is the one. Yes. Skip second layout. Connect to a network. Yep, be back in a second. It's now checking for updates. Hopefully it doesn't find too many of them to waste our time at this point installing. Let's name the device. I keep trying <laughs> to see when this recovers. Nope, not yet. Next. Just a moment. Hi there. Set up for personal use. Okay, let's see how we can skip this thing. No sign in. I don't want any sign in. I want a freaking local account. So, how to do this? If you're on a laptop, Press function, shift and F10 at the same time. For me, it's gonna be a bit difficult because I'm not holding on a tripod. On a desktop, you only press shift and F10. But on many laptops, you have access to F keys by also pressing function at the same time. So function, shift, F10, do that now. We are into the command prompt. This is what we were aiming for. We type N. C P A Oh, it's not typing. Yeah, it's good it happened like that. You need to click on the window. Sometimes it's start up, but it's not actually selected. Now it got a bit darker, the text, and it is selected. So, N C P A dot C P L. This should bring us the network connection. Ah, it's doing some driver install in the background. What the hell? Yeah, we kind of need to wait for it to decide what it's doing. Right click on this and disable it. We just cut its connection to internet. 
Now again we are going back to the command prompt and now again here a new command oobe backslash ah ah it doesn't have my proper keyboard <laughs> I need to search for the backslash not that one is it nope not that one also whew, be, back in a, be back in a second I need to put a backslash in there this is completely stupid. Windows is screwing me over. I tried every key combination. It does not recognize backslash. Although I selected the proper keyboard when installing Windows. So I don't know what happened. My only chance is to literally copy and paste it from here. So Control C. But by testing all possible combinations, I was left with this, which it does not allow me to delete it. So I can control V, but still won't work. So I'm just going to hit enter. It's going to be doing nothing because that's not a valid command. And uh, oh, oh, B E, control V, backslash, and bypass an R O. So it's bypass uh, enrollation, probably. Anyway, I'm not sure what they wanted to to do with that shortcut. And in theory, we hit enter and this thing will reboot and should let us uh, bypass that stupid account. And it's uh, taking us back to this uh, page. Ah, again, let me go and select US keyboard. I think I previously selected international and that didn't really work out that well. So skip second layout. I don't have internet. This is what we wanted. That's why we disabled the, the network connection. Who's going to be using this device finally? This is a an HP ZBook Firefly, so that's good. Next, no password for the moment on this. And uh, yeah, bunch of nodes to be uh, clicked on. Yep, only required stuff. Oh, come on, how many of those I need to click? And in theory, in a moment, it should show us uh, Windows desktop and we should be done. And we are booted into Windows 11 and now uh, we need to re-enable view network connections. You search for network basically. Where are my network connections? Click on it and click and right click enable. So it should uh, reconnect to Wi Fi now. Yeah, identifying it's connecting to Wi Fi and we have a local account. Yay! Forgot to tell you, the partition is not visible until you come to computer management, storage, disk management and right click on it and go to format and only then it will get uh, a volume a volume label that you can change and a drive number so uh, yeah if obviously you want to use both partitions uh, and encrypted data on the, uh, yes yes we don't care about that uh, you need to come here, otherwise one of the letters is not visible. Actually, you know what, it formatted it, I gave it a new uh, volume label, but uh, it didn't give it a letter. So we need to add a letter to it. Only now it's visible in the system. <laughs> that was weird, anyway. And finally, we will let it do its updates, it's connected to Wi-Fi now. Uh, maybe it also finds... Ah, it finally found the driver for this. <laughs> yeah, it's working. But I'm going to let it do its thing for a bit because it always finds more drivers, does some updates. And uh, yeah, we are kind of 
good to go on this laptop. I will just check if it uh, actually activated Windows. And it did exactly as expected. Windows 11 uh, Pro got activated by the key in the BIOS. And I think this has a Windows 10 key in the BIOS because it's not that new of a laptop. It's not really old, but neither that new to come directly with Windows 11. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me just go into control panel and see how many drivers we are. Actually, no, I will let it do updates for about half an hour and see after that if any drivers are still missing so I can deal with them. Actually, no, decided to, to come here just to see if anything is missing and nothing is missing. Yes, obviously, if you want, you can update drivers yourself. But as you can see, this flickering, it is actually updating drivers uh, through Windows Update. So I wouldn't touch anything unless something for you is not working 100% right with the drivers that Windows 11 updates and installs by itself. I'm, yeah, recently I'm... Uh, I'm not really touching anything anymore. Windows does a pretty good job of doing everything that it needs to, especially on uh, not modern, but fairly recent computers made when at least Windows 10 was uh, uh, a thing and they were shipped with it. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope it helps you. In which case, please give it a like, check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.